Don't train your staff, save your money and time. The lady in green represents the CXO of a company that has just started a training program for her staff. She's hopeful that the employees being trained will start producing great results after the training ends. The lady carrying the weights represents the employees, excited that this training will help her boost her productivity and earn her a wallet exploding year-end bonus. Of course, it never has a happily ever after ending like Disney movies, but more like Twilight Zone endings. Just pop into any LinkedIn groups dedicated to talent development and you'll get a feel of the number of managers who are weeping that training programs just don't cut it. US companies spent anywhere from $70 billion to $160 billion on staff training. Globally, it was in the region of $300 billion. It's estimated that 75% of that spent doesn't translate into positive ROI. What has gone wrong? All this expenditures not boosting employee engagement or even productivity. At the core level, it's an issue of perception. CXOs perceive training to be the panacea to boost revenues and productivity. Can't blame them because that's what they were taught in their MBAs in the HR module. Most of them would have undergone training throughout their career, but don't know any better because measuring productivity related to training is very tricky. For decades, everyone involved in employee training has known that training doesn't significantly sustain productivity boosts. Therefore, many companies conduct retraining of the same program at regular intervals for the same people, hoping that something will stick. The situation is so bleak that many trainers try all sorts of techniques to improve training retention and hoping this would translate into sustained improvement in the workplace. Many trainers believe wrongly that classroom antiques and stunts drive skills development and retention. The problem is that this is a losing battle simply because no matter how much a participant learns and retains during training, they would have flushed 65% from their memory within seven days. The Boston Consulting Group actually gave three reasons why most training programs are a waste of time and money. The solution is coaching, which will transform people and hold them accountable to execute what they have learned. I have spent many years looking for hard data that will indicate that coaching indeed is effective in translating classroom learning into appropriate behavior in the field. Recently, I stumbled upon the proof. It was hidden in a book by Marshall Goldsmith titled, What Got You Here Won't Get You There in Sales. Goldsmith and his partners conducted research among the sales staff within a single organization numbering more than 3,000. They were segregated into four groups. Their performance was evaluated over six months and compared to the six months prior to the research. Group 1. No training. Sales declined by 4%. Group 2. Attended eight hours of training sales increased by 1%. Group 3 attended 8 hours training and one 30-minute phone coaching session. Sales increased between 9 and 19%. Group 4 attended 8 hours training and 8 weeks of 30-minute phone coaching sessions. Sales increased by 20%. There you go. That's as stone cold hard data as you can get. Coaching is the most effective way to ensure that classroom knowledge and skills gained are implemented in the workplace. Period. Execution boosts retention, not repeat training. So, always make sure your training programs have follow-up coaching sessions. At Lion Reputation Marketing, we always provide group follow-up coaching sessions for our selling skills and leadership skills programs. 
contact us at the link below.